So this is question 88 uh, from the 2017 paper. In this question, we have a book on an inclined plane, which at first is at 20 degrees to the horizontal. As always, gravitational force will act on it. This can be resolved into a component along this line and perpendicular to it. We know that in this scenario, with 20 degrees, the book is at rest, and that means that all the forces have to be balanced. So if there is a force acting in this direction, there has to be one with the same magnitude in the opposite direction. This one we call the reaction force, and it's exerted by the plane on the book. And in the direction along the line, uh, we also must have a force. In this case, that's friction. And again, that's the same as this component of uh, the gravitational force. In the top right corner is a reminder of um, how friction is defined in terms of the coefficient of friction and uh, the reaction force. In our case, the reaction force equals the force of gravity times cosine 20 degrees, because the, the same angle as here will be between the projection and the force of gravity here. In other words, the friction F is some mu, some coefficient mu, then force of gravity and co cosine times cosine 20. But at the same time, this force has to be equal to the projection along the line, so we can write that as an equation too. That's the force of gravity times sine of 20. And the two expressions have to be equal to one another, which leave, leaves us with mu equals tan 20, tan is sine over cos. And I'll store this result because we'll need it later. Later on, the angle of the incline is increased to 25 degrees, and we are supposed to find the acceleration of the book downwards at this angle. Because in this case, no longer is it true that uh, the force of friction and the projection of the gravitational force exactly cancel and we get motion with constant speed. There will be some acceleration here. And that will be proportional to the difference of this light red force minus the green force. So we need to work, work that out now, uh, this difference of forces. So the reaction force is the force of gravity times 20 to the cos of 25 degrees. And to get friction, we need to multiply by this coefficient which we have found. So force of friction equals force of gravity times cosine 25 times tan 20. I'll start calling this projection P, just for clarity. And P is now the force of gravity times sine of 25. What we are ultimately interested in is the difference of these two forces, so the final force, the resultant force in this direction acting on the book. And as we can see, the difference is uh, P minus F, is this expression. And now that's a force, but they were asking about acceleration. So we divide by mass, uh, which will change this general G force of gravity to little g gravitational acceleration. So this is the acceleration we are supposed to find, and the final answer to the question, uh, and it was option H.